Okay, in the last screencast, you saw how to make basic REST calls against the Alfresco API. Now let's do some CMIS calls. So the Alfresco API is split into CMIS and uh, Alfresco proprietary REST calls. So it's CMIS for working with documents and then it's those REST calls for everything else. Let's see how to make some uh, CMIS calls here. And the first one is the most basic CMIS call you can do almost, which is to just ask the repository for its information. So let's look at uh, a class that does that CMIS repository info example, the do example method. here. What we need is an access token because we need to give that access token to CMIS so that uh, it can go into the header. And then once we get a CMIS session, we'll just call get repository info. So let's see how this works. So when we run it, um, again, just like you've seen in past examples, Alfresco will ask the end user to grant access to this application. Click OK. And now we can see the, uh, the repository information. I just picked a few fields, name, vendor, and version. So that's what comes back. And if you've worked with CMIS, you know kind of what that repository information is. So let's grab this access token and let's use um, a tool from Apache Chemistry called the Workbench. The CMIS Workbench uh, lets you browse any CMIS repository in a standard way and it's really handy for doing development. I'm going to go into expert mode and um, drop in the um, authorization header and I'm going to give it my, um, my access token here. And this will allow us to load the Alfresco cloud repositories. And from this point on, it looks just like any other CMIS repository would uh, from the perspective of the workbench. So I happen to know the path of this uh, folder I want to go see, so I'm just plugging that in here. And we can see that there's one folder in there right now called rule demo and if I click that folder I can see the actions I can take I can see properties of that folder any relationships that exist renditions ACLs uh, so on and so on um, you can see a little bit of information about the type which is the CMIS folder in this case and if we wanted to we could um, go ahead and create a why don't we just create a new folder? I'll click create folder here and I'll just give it a name and a type. Some new folder, click create folder and there's the folder. And as you can expect, I mean I could put documents in the folder, I can create folders in the folder. Let's just for grins create one more and now um, we have that folder. So the CMIS workbench is a handy little tool. Let's pop over into the browser and uh, I'm already logged in to the Alfresco API demo site. Do a refresh here and now we can see the folder that we created. So there's some folder and some other folder. So we created those using the workbench and they're live in the uh, Alfresco cloud site. So uh, that's great but likely you're going to uh, be writing code to do this and so let's pop over and see uh, this class CMIS create document example and this it follows the same pattern as the last screencast so we have a method called do example and um, here we can see the different things that that this example does. Um, so we're going to find the root folder of a target site. Then we will create a new folder inside that folder. Then we will like the new folder so we can do ratings. And then we will create a test document in the folder that we created. And then finally we will add a comment to the test document. So this is a mix of REST API calls and CMIS API calls. Um, so again, get the root folder. The root folder is document li the document library folder, if you're familiar with uh, Alfresco already. Let's run this just to see what we're, uh, what we're going for here. 
Now you may be wondering about this repeated um, grant that's happening here. It's just because I'm not persisting the credential anywhere. If you persist that credential, then uh, then you can make repeated calls and not have to. The user won't have to grant every time you run your app. All right, you can see the um, the app is running here, and we created the folder. We liked the folder. We created a new document, and then we made a comment on that document. Let's do a refresh, and there's the folder. And there's the document we uploaded, just a simple little uh, PDF. Pop that open and uh, we should see the preview. There it is. And if we scroll down, we should see the comment. And there it is. Pretty straightforward. And if we click on, uh, go back to the folder, then we should see that that folder got liked. So it's showing all the way back. There we go. Uh, showing one uh, one like there. So let's look at some of these little methods and see what's going on here. So the first thing is get root folder ID. And so what we're doing is um, we're calling the sites URL that you saw in the last screencast. But in this case we're adding a relationship to it which is containers. So we're asking it for its list of containers. And right now this is just a basic site. It has nothing else in there. It's just going to come back with one container. But just in case I'm iterating over the containers and trying to find the one called document library. And when I find that, then I know I have what I want. All right. Now we want to create a folder in that root folder or that container, which is document library. So we'll pass that folder ID in as the parent folder ID. And now we're going to use CMIS to grab that object. So the ID came from the rest call, but we're going to do a get object to grab it. Then we will um, try to find that folder, because it might already be there. And if it's not found, we will create a new folder. That just involves having a hash map of properties and then passing that to the create folder method. And that's all there is to it for creating folders. Once the folder is created we can do a like. So now we're jumping back to the REST API. You can't do likes from CMIS. And so if we were to go look at the Alfresco API documentation we would find out that there is a nodes call and you can tell it the node you're interested in, which is represented by that object ID, and tell it uh, that you're doing a rating, and we are posting JSON. Now, I could have done something fancier here, but in this case I'm just using raw, a raw string here for the JSON. We're going to build that post request, call execute, and that's all there is to it. That will come back with a response. I'm just not paying attention to the response in that case. All right, let's throw a document into that folder. So let's go to create document and we will pass in the file that we want to create and the file type as well as the parent folder. So we'll create a map of properties, the object type and the name. And I just notice I'm using a content stream impl here. That's not the preferred way to do it. I'll fix that before the code goes up. Um, and then we are just calling create document. If that throws an exception that the document of that name already exists, then we will just use the get object by path call. And in either case, we will end up with a new document object, which can be returned to the caller. So that shows a little bit about um, hitting the REST API and hitting the CMIS part of the API and sort of mixing the two and um, using using both uh, together to get something done. Hopefully this inspires you to build your own apps on top of Alfresco in the cloud using the Alfresco API.